Hello and welcome back to Viking Conquest and our Iron Man Challenge. Now, when we left off, we were attempting to ride the seas and try and take our special brand of justice to all of the sea vikings in the area. And we've done a pretty decent job so far, but what we're going to have to do now is a little bit of a land battle. Yes, we're going to be switching things up a little bit here because I actually ran into these guys as I was making my way back to the Danish Longfort, which, of course, is the place where we're going to be selling most of our gear, because I haven't really found any other robber's dens or renegade camps or anything like that down in the south of England, and that is going to have to change. We'll probably have to try and find something a little bit, well, <laughs> I say easier to access, but it is actually pretty easy to get to the Danish Longfort. It's just that I would like some bandit camp on the western side of England or in Wales or somewhere around there for us to be able to uh, utilize those services. That would be pretty fantastic. But as it stands, don't think that's going to happen that easily because it's quite difficult to find these places for some reason. I don't know why. We have a good amount of spotting skill after all. And it would probably make sense for us to... Uh, well, look around there and see what we can do. But as you can see, we've got 20 skirmishers, we've got 6 archers, that's not too bad. And we also have 25 infantry. Now, bear in mind that these fellows that we're fighting right here have just eliminated a band of young warriors. And I was ha actually hoping that I could uh, intercept the battle and uh, see if I could maybe help them out a little bit. But unfortunately, I got there a little bit too late. And as a result, the young warriors were eliminated uh, just before I engaged, actually. Literally just before. Literally, like, one second before I got in here. So, that's a bit of a shame, but I guess we'll just have to try our very best. If we do get eliminated here, and I'm not talking about me dying, if we do, you know, suffer a huge amount of casualties or something like that, then we will try our best to, uh, well, re-recruit, I guess, from rescued prisoners and things like that on the ocean waves. I'm not going to be retreating back to the troops' quarters because that is a little bit too far away at the moment. And it's a bit inefficient to do that. So I'm just going to run into our skirmishers, apparently, and just do all kinds of random stuff, because I'm very good at that, apparently. But otherwise, we're just going to try and bait the opponent into attacking us. Because we do not want to... Oh, oh, hello, hello. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to try and get them to use their thrown weapons, because if we can get them to use their thrown weapons on me, then this is going to be much, much better for us. Bear in mind, I don't have any horse archery skill, so me using javelins uh, for my horse is pretty bad. But, you know, it's better that I do that and kind of get them to attack us a little than anything else. So we're just going to try and kill some of them as well here, see if I can make a bit of a strike on these guys. Wow, that was a really bad attack. Did you see that guy? <laughs> he was like, ah, I better, I better swing when he's not even near me, you know. Yeah, apparently he's taking a leaf out of the bear tilled book of fighting because that's usually what I'll do so yeah anyway let's see if I can maybe ah uh, yeah I was hopeful that I might be able to get a little bit closer than that yep they're, they're just standing here they're just standing here I'm actually kind of surprised that they haven't charged in to be honest yeah, I wonder whether I can actually get a little bit closer here <laughs> what what is even going on okay you know what Let's move our people a little bit closer. Uh, where are the skirmishers? There, the, there are the skirmishers. Okay. So let's move them a little bit closer as well. Because our guys, I don't think, have used their javelins or anything like that. So let me see if I can get my guys to hit them in the back. That would be nice. 74 damage to that guy as well. That's pretty crazy. Oh, there we go. There we go. We eliminated that fellow. Oh, nice. That's going to sell for a huge amount at a, at a Ransom Broker. That's going to be really, really good. And uh, I believe a couple of people have told me that Ransom Brokers can sometimes be found in the docks of various towns. And that's actually very nice. And, and uh, thank you for reminding me about that because I actually did not remember that from previous versions. I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether... That has changed or anything. I doubt it. It must just be something that I neglected to notice at the time. But whatever the case, that's actually going to be very, very useful for us. And maybe I can continue to do a little bit of hit and run attacks. Ow. Yeah, we don't want to do too much. <laughs> we don't want to do too much. There we go. Come on now. Uh, 
yeah, it's really, really difficult to fight on a uh, on an incline like this because on the one hand you're attacking downhill and then on the other hand you're attacking uphill, so it's kind of a bit weird. But anyway, I'm going to use T and I'm going to get my people to uh, take less damage. I, I'm, I'm actually wondering whether that worked. I don't think it did. But I'm just going to tell my people to charge in now so we can get these guys taken care of. And hopefully that will work out quite nicely. Ah, actually, you know what I should have done? I should have just left them in formation. That would have made the most sense. Yeah, should have left them in formation because now we're going to end up losing a lot of people because of that. My bad, my bad. It's all right. It's not a problem. We can take out a lot of these enemies and then we'll be in a good situation to continue onward. As you can see, our medic is doing a fantastic job of getting our people knocked unconscious and uh, pretty happy with that. There we go. Let's send our skirmishers in, actually. Seems like they're not doing much. Not entirely sure why. Wow, we actually are we actually losing this? I can't believe it, actually. I thought this would be a pretty easy victory for us, but no, no. The ship captains and the Danish elite Vikings, they're really taking it to us right now, aren't they? They really are. Wow, that's, that's extremely impressive, I've got to say. That is extremely impressive. We are going to lose a couple of people, but... Not a big deal, not a big deal. We're going to get a lot of money for this. And what I am going to do is I will be taking first loot, I think. And if I take first loot, then I'm probably going to get a really good amount of cash from the uh, from the loot there. Anyway, we did lose five in total, which is not even that bad, to be honest. It's not really that bad. And we did have the opportunity, oh yeah, to take so many of these guys prisoner. Very nice indeed. And we also get some young warriors, which I am going to take. I won't take these two because that gets us to 55. And we're going to take first claim on all the loot. Oh, yes. Hello. All right. This is fantastic stuff. And I am very pleased with it. So let's see what I can do here. Okay. Wow. That's actually a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to put this stuff back into the looting pool so that I have enough space to take the higher tier loot. There we go. Uh, yes, okay. Wow, we need even more space. We need more space. Okay, let's get rid of some of the lower lower tier stuff. As you can see, these things sell for 600 or so, which is really nice. Okay, I think that will be enough, won't it? Is that going to be enough? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I could swap out food. Generally, I could swap out food, but I think I'm pretty happy with how we went there. And as you can see, we lost 40 morale, which is to be expected, but... Uh, I'm going to go to Dunwich and we're going to maybe rest up or just go into the meat hall and... Oh, hello. There's an old captain. Well, unfortunately, I am full up, so I won't be able to take him, but yes. Uh, let's see. Yes, there we go. That is fine. We're going to gain some uh, gonna gain some morale right there. Not too bad. And how much morale do we actually have right now? Hmm. I'm going to have a look at the ships real quick as well because I would like to see whether they've actually changed a little... They have not, of course not. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Not a problem. Okay, we've got average morale. That's perfect. Absolutely fine. Not a problem. Okay, so hopefully the Danish Longford is going to have some money now. Yes, they do. 5,800. Very nice. Look at that. 4,200 just from two items. That is insane. There we go. Sold all of it. Done. Is there another robber's den somewhere nearby? I, th I somehow think there is, but I think it's up here. Was this just taken? Yeah, I think this was just taken from someone. So there's uh, a little bit of movement going on in this area. Oh, okay. Well, good to know. Okay, so yeah, I guess the best thing for us to do now is just to move on. And uh, we will go on to the ocean waves. I will be a bit careful about actually seeing some people around here. Because I, I don't think I really want to fight anyone right now. I would much prefer to find another bandit camp or something like that because I think that's going to be our greatest opportunity to get huge amounts of money and let's see if I can find another landing point there we go there's a landing point now we can go in here and see if there's a ransom broker oh there's a belligerent drunk which I don't really want to fight but I will because it's fun is he going to draw his sword yep there we go got to wait for him to draw his sword or his dagger or whatever it may be there we go that was easy enough and uh, yeah you don't really get anything super good in viking conquest for defeating the belligerent drunk which you do in other mods like pendor for example 
you are going to get some relation with the town and everything like that. And that's actually really, really useful. But as it is here, not so much. So let's go and uh, stroll through the town because we are, of course, going to want to speak to the mayor. Ah, here he is. Fantastic. Let's see. Oh, right. Okay. Apparently this guy does not like us, which is a little bit. Oh, this is the guy. Oh, all right. Okay. Hello there. You don't. Wow, he absolutely hates me, doesn't he? Look at that. Minus 17. Why does he have minus 17 with us? Ah, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter so much. I guess it's because I raided one of his villages at some point or something. Maybe that's it. Anyway, we are still losing money every single week, even with all of these investments. And there's a good reason for that. We're using some very high tier units at the moment. And of course, that's going to be the case. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to walk through a little bit of the land just to see if I can find some bandit hideouts and things like that because that's going to be really, really useful for us. I can't go to London because that is the kingdom of Mias and Mias is uh, people that hate us at the moment. So, yeah, the only time I can probably get that to be resolved is if I actually join another faction and get their relation back to zero or whatever it may be with that particular faction. So I might do that at some point, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, it seems like we're okay here. I mean, obviously we were okay before with the town, but uh, we'll see if I can maybe get an enterprise here as well. It's, it's kind of a shame that uh, he, that guy's relation was so incredibly low, but I guess that's just how the dice rolls sometimes. Ah, fantastic. Look at this. It seems like we have found a Danish long fort right in the middle of, well, <laughs> the southwest. And, uh, well, there's my ship. As you can see, I actually went all the way back over here and uh, traveled along the coast because I couldn't find anything else. And I thought, hey, you know what? Let's go here and uh, see what's going on. Wow, this is actually really bad for us. As you can see, 3,400. That is really quite surprising, I got to say. Okay, well, hmm. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here. Now I guess sell a couple of things and then move on. But uh, what I would like to do is go over here, but this is under siege. Oh, great. Well, that's not so good, is it? I guess the best thing that we can do is maybe just go in there real quick. Yeah, we can go in there real quick. This is pretty good. And are we at, oh, oh, is this guy liking us? I mean, that's the thing. I've got to find that out. So let's go to notes and let's go and actually find that out before I just run around aimlessly attempting to find the, I uh, know, oh, he's got minus four relation with us, to find the mayor, yeah. So he does have minus four relation with us. He's currently in a battle against someone from the kingdom of Cornubia. So I will be leaving him well alone. And instead, we will go over to the ferry station and we'll go over to Cardiff and we'll see if we can maybe, just maybe, 55? Really? 55 for only... For 55 troops? Wow, that's a that's an absolute bargain, but I suppose it is a very small distance, so it's not really going to make too much difference to him. But anyway, let's go in here. Uh, I don't know whether this guy really likes us at all, but I would, I would assume that yes, maybe, because we haven't really done anything to him, but of course our reputation is very low, so it might make a bit of a difference in that aspect, but we'll see. Ah, there we go. Yes, it seems like this is absolutely fine. All right, so there's 93 profit there. Uh, 500 almost there. Uh, 600. Uh, 618, that seems the best so far, the brewery. And that is it. Okay, so the brewery will be the monies. There we go. That is perfectly fine. Let's go into the meat hall because there might be a ransom broker here somewhere. There is not, unfortunate. That's absolutely fine, though. I, oh, yes. Oh, I, I actually wanted to check on the ships, too. Aha! This is actually quite a nice ship, but it probably won't be something I will... Should I? It's 27 men. That's the thing. If I spend another 10,000, it is more than likely... But this is oak. And it's got good condition. Hmm. I'm actually going to buy this. I'm actually going to buy this. I have 25,000 pennies right now. Let's do it. And uh, let's repair it as well. There we go. And we can actually... Can we not rename these? No. No, we can't actually rename them, unfortunately. But uh, yes, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're going to... Hmm. We can sail. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. 
Yeah, no, we can't sail here. Okay, yes. I'm going to have to go back and get my get my ship. And then we'll see what we can do about that. But yeah, that I think that was a really, really high quality vessel. Usually oak is the highest quality, but is very expensive, as you could see there, because obviously I bought a, a 55 capacity ship, which is my main ship. And I bought that for 31,000. And uh, I think it was pine, wasn't it pine or something like that? Oh, there's Ao Chu. Oh, fantastic. Welcome back. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get rid of someone. So I guess a sailor, goodbye. Have fun in the nearby tavern. And we're going to go over here and we'll go around. Oh, yes, we will go around. Uh, I'm actually wondering whether I could go back. Hmm. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Maybe I could go back and see what I could do about selling at the uh, at the uh, Danish Long Fort. Uh, I'm actually wondering whether there's actually going to be something around the coast here as well, because I didn't check over here, of course. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. All right. Well, that guy, it seems like the orange faction does not like us one bit. So it seems like I won't be able to get any businesses over there, which is unfortunate, I would say. I was actually hoping to expand outward quite dramatically. But uh, yeah, merge the fleets. Merge the fleets. There we go. All right. That's actually fantastic now because we have an even greater capacity. And then we can. Oh, hello, Ransom Broker. Fantastic. There you go. 1,300. Not too bad. And uh, there's actually some sailors here too. And we can actually recruit them for 2,600. I'm going to take them. Why not? Because we can now. We have a lot of extra space. Got 66. And uh, we have about 87, I think now. 87 or something like that. Or maybe uh, 77. Oh uh, yeah, math's not my strong point. Anyway, we're going to go on the ferry station here. Because I think the Danish Longfort probably has received new funds. And I think I still have a pretty sizable amount of money basically waiting in my inventory. I can't believe that they only have 2,400. Really? <laughs> uh, oh well, never mind. Okay, I guess that's the last time I'm going to go over there then, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. So yeah, I think it's about time that we actually go and uh, attempt to do a little bit of naval combat. But first I am going to try and see whether I... Hmm, I don't even have enough money for that anymore. So I think what I'm going to do is literally, as I said, just go on the ocean waves and attempt to fight as many people as I possibly can. There's probably going to be some bandit... Ah, wait, is that a... No, that's not a bandit hideout. Oh, well, never mind. There's probably going to be a bandit hideout relatively close by to the coast here. So if I find some opponents, which I very much hope we will then we will hopefully be able to sell our ill-gotten gains there. All right, so I have reached another robber's den. I actually ran all the way from basically North Wales all the way over to sort of like the middle of England to get over here. And look at this, 3,000. They, they are just absolutely playing a game on, uh, playing a trick on me right now, but oh well, never mind. Ooh, look what we have here. An enemy berserker. Let's see what we can do. So we are now on the ocean waves. I have 66 against 12. Yeah, so it is going to be one of those things where we'll probably be okay. I mean, it's pretty obvious that we'll be okay. Is that my other vessel over there? I think it is. Hmm, fantastic. Ooh, this looks cool. This looks cool. I actually can't wait until we have even more ships. And uh, I think I might be... Mm, maybe I was a little bit wrong to buy this one. I'm not entirely sure about that, to be honest. I think it just, it's just really nice to have two different angles that we can attack from instead of just the one. And, uh, well, that was my main thinking on that. And, and, of course, having additional capacity, having so many more troops to field while you're, you know, sailing around is actually really nice, in my opinion. So, I don't know. Maybe uh, we'll need to have... Hmm, but we'll, we'll probably have to look at what next ship we actually get. Probably one that has about 90 capacity or something like that, so we can actually take large armies everywhere that we want to go. And it doesn't even really need to be a very good combat vessel. It just needs to be good for taking our army somewhere and uh, transporting it. Alright, so we have a bunch of people that we can take here now. And I'm still going to just take... I'm actually unsure. Are these are these are these are Christians? I would assume, right? These are probably Christians because they're not Norse or anything like that. So I would assume that that's going to 
probably cause some problems for us. If it does cause problems, let me know in the comments, and I'm just going to take them anyway. We'll take the sailors too, because it increases our speed, and we're just going to share the loot at this point, because I'm unfortunately still not able to find any place that I can actually sell all of my loot, which is unfortunate, but well, what can I do about it? Can't really do much. Ah, more Vikings. Hello there. Come back. Wait a minute. No, don't fight them. Ah, uh, yes, too slow. Haha. -ha. Yes, that guy's too slow. <laughs> okay, great, great. This is really good. Now, I have a bad feeling that I am probably now overmatching most of the opponents that we're going to be fighting on the ocean waves now. And that kind of gives me a little bit of a sad, disappointed aura because I'm thinking to myself, oh, now, now I'm always going to stomp these guys and I can never find a very large battle for us. Maybe I do need to go back into the ocean between the Scandinavian countries and England. That would probably make the most sense because uh, that's probably going to provide us with the greatest challenge. But obviously, don't quote me on that. <laughs> I am not an expert on Viking conquest by any means because uh, I have not played it extensively in comparison to some of the other things, you know, some of the other mods. But anyway, let's see if we can continue to do some damage here. I'm not doing very well with my thrown weapons this time around, unfortunately, but I think that's because I just, in general, have a large amount of troops. And hopefully we'll gain the ability to uh, capture the vessel here as well, because being able to capture those vessels is really nice. And I'm thinking, you know what, I'm actually going to take a look at my attributes and skills in just a second as well. Ah, look at this. Oh... Oh, yes. Add the sheep. Uh, sheep, yes. Add the sheep to my flit. <laughs> uh, ship to my fleet, of course. That's what I meant. Anyway, great. Anyway, let's uh, take all these people and look at this. This is actually fantastic. This is really, really good. Very happy that we were able to get this situation. And uh, yeah, I'm actually going to take a look at my attributes and things. Okay. So we have four in Seeking right now. We're at our learning limit. However, Next time we gain an attribute point, it would probably make sense for us to spec into Charisma, and then we'll have five, and then it will enable us to get another point in Seeking. Because, of course, every... Uh, it, it's, it's different than in Native. So basically, when you have... Let's say you have 20 in Strength, like I do, you can go for 10 in your combat skills. So it's just half of what you have in your attributes. So at the moment I have technically eight in charisma because obviously it doesn't work with not with 0.5s or anything like that. It doesn't work with half numbers or anything. So I need to get 10 to be able to get seeking to five. And I think that's gonna be a nice idea. But we now have, look at this, three ships. Yes, three ships. I can't believe that I was able to get so lucky about one of those. I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of a, a rare ship to get in my opinion. Uh, well, maybe it isn't, but I think it was quite quite lucky for us to get that. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else available here? Oh, another one of these. It's oak as well. That's actually pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, let's just repair our ship. And we can repair this. Uh, no, we don't even need to repair this one. This one's made of oak as well. This is one's the one we bought. This is, an, this is a pine one. And as you can see, you can actually sell those for 3,200 if I wanted to. I could also repair it for 6,600. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to be able to repair it. I think I am going to keep it for the moment. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is I will probably look around for a potential better ship and then I'll sell that uh, when the time comes, something along those lines. Oh yes, I actually wanted to go in here and uh, see if I could... Oh yeah, I don't even have enough money to be able to do that. Yes, that's great. Okay, so I'm going to need to find... Ah, there it is. There's the veteran renegades camp. And if I find any Vikings on the mainland, then I will, of course, attempt to attack them. And look at my... Uh, it has just gone absolutely insane now, the amount of wages that I'm having to pay. Pretty awful. Uh, 5,000. Okay. Well, what can I do? We'll just, we'll just sell it here. Uh, yeah, I was hopeful for something a little bit better, but oh well. Never mind. I guess we'll probably be able to find another one. There. I mean, I have found quite a few in Ireland. So, wait a minute. Where's the, where's the other one? Wasn't it over here somewhere? Hmm. Well, I am apparently not, uh, not exactly right about that. 
Weird. I actually thought there was one over here somewhere, but uh, apparently not. Great. Uh, I guess I'll search around a little bit. Oh, hello. Uh, th th that guy has now joined us. That's fantastic. And we now have my party capacity at 201. How crazy. That is really good. Ah, now what do we have here? Oh yes, apparently <laughs> we're getting another offer of vassalage. Do I want to be just literally the most disreputable vassal that any faction has ever known? Because the thing is, is that if I accept this, I will have a village. Having a village, I'm not entirely sure if that increases my party capacity. Uh, I would assume that maybe it does, dependent on whether you have more fiefs. Uh, not entirely sure, it depends on the mod, of course. But maybe it would be an idea, because I don't even know where this is, the kingdom of Maid or Mida, or whatever the, the case may be. I really don't know. I think it's in Ireland somewhere, because this sounds very much like, you know, who would be uh, around here. So should I accept this? Because <laughs> I know that I did not accept this in the past. And... Hmm... It might be an idea. It might give us a new goal to sort of strive for as well. For, you know, being able to have something to look after, if you know what I mean, instead of just being a nomad and running around and attacking things. Okay, we're going to accept, and we'll see. I need to find him first. He's currently at Tamer. All right, okay. Well, this is where I currently am. I was actually running around Ireland attempting to buy as much... Uh, as much wool as possible because I thought, okay, well, if the renegade camps aren't giving me anything, then I'll, uh, I'll just, you know, do it the old-fashioned way and I'll do a little bit of trading and things like that. And, uh, I think it would probably be a good idea for me to head back to Edinburgh where my troop quarters are and trying to sell some loot nearby to that because there are about three or maybe at least two robber dens nearby to that particular location and that would make the most sense. It would give us a lot of very, very nice money and then we'd probably be able to buy another another enterprise of some kind. But the problem is, the problem right now that I'm facing is that I have a lot of loot that I could turn very easily into cash and then I could also buy enterprises in Ireland. You know, I could literally just go and buy things in Ireland and I can make a lot of extra money passively by doing that. And what's grinding my gears about this is that I don't have the money right now. And I could very easily, if only the robber's dens and things like that, would actually have a little bit of money. You know, a little bit more money than they actually have to give me at the moment. And it is a very, very powerful strategy to, to, you know, have access to these bandit camps and things. It is very, very powerful indeed. We've seen how powerful it can be in this series so far. But you can get very, very, well, uh, just sh shall we say, you know, you can, you can have a very bad time. Very dark cloud can loom overhead if you don't have the money in these places. And uh, that's kind of a shame, you know, that is kind of a shame. So let's see if I can do a little bit of damage with my throwing weapons. Yes, take that. Thank you very much. If you just slow down a little bit, and uh, and even if you don't have any horse archery at that point, if you just slow down, it will increase your accuracy by a small margin, which will hopefully enable you to get a little bit of a hit there. Obviously, I am no veteran when it comes to throwing weapons, but they're fun to use, I feel. Anyway, there you go. That is indeed a victory for us. There's only three enemies remaining. Bear in mind that these are just ruffians, and I was literally just fighting these guys to try and get as much loot as possible before we headed on over to Tamer and accepted the oath. And these guys are actually running away still. Yeah, I actually do need to do something like that. I need to go and get some, some units that actually have mounts because it's going to make so much difference for us being able to chase them down really, really easily. But there it is. Victory for us. And we will be able to move on. There we go. Uh, we could take a couple of them prisoner, which is not too bad, not too bad. And there you go. So all of this stuff can actually sell for at least, I don't know, a little bit of extra cash. And uh, where's Tamer? Tamer is over here. Okay, so there's the Kingdom of Maid. I guess I'll call it the Kingdom of Maid. And wow, it is extremely small. Right. Right. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm a bit worried about this now, actually. Because I think I might, I might be in a bit of a uh, bit of trouble. 
Hmm. I'm not entirely sure who who are we at war against even. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, pagans are accepted here. Oh, that's actually nice. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna speak to this guy. I've been expecting you. Word has reached my ears of your exploits. Oh, very good. Uh, you honor me with your offer. Uh, yes, sure. Why not? Let's do it. Okay, what are you, what are you gonna give me? Oh, okay, so we are at war against the Kingdom of West Siax. They actually don't like us anyway. They really don't like me anyway, so it actually makes no sense for uh, me not to take this offer because they are the orange. Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they the orange faction all the way down here? Yes, exactly. They don't like me anyway, so that's absolutely fine. No problem at all there. And uh, yeah, I guess that means that I might very well be able to build an enterprise here extremely quickly and easily, unless I have one already. Ah, we can actually select people now. All right, so this guy wishes to select a new marshal and invites his vassals. All right, these are the likely candidates. Okay, so now we'll see what is actually going to happen. Oh, no. It's turning out to be quite a even battle right now between the two. Uh, I'm going to take the right guy because he already has two. And we'll just make it a... Uh... Oh, wow. They both hate me. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, well, uh, if that guy actually has... Oh, wow. That, a, vet, a lot of veteran renegades. Anyway, if that guy actually has a thief around here, I'm never going to be able to build something in his... In his uh, territory, that's going to be kind of harsh, but oh well, never mind. I guess we'll just uh, get as much cash as I can. Sell all of the junk as much as possible here. There we go. And then how much do I have left? I've got 12,000. That's actually pretty good. And I do have quite a bit in my inventory in terms of wool. So wool, I've only got four stacks. Mm. That's not exactly great, is it? No, not at all. There are a bunch of veteran renegades running around here. Ooh, yeah, give me that wool. Very nice. But yeah, there are some rene veteran renegades running around here, which we could potentially attack. But uh, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna just stick around here a little bit and do a little bit of off screen, and I'll hopefully be able to, hmm, maybe maybe just continue to sell to the veteran renegades camp. That's basically it. And I might do a battle with these guys, but I'm not entirely sure whether I will just yet. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.